Hello, 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 hello. It's Jennifer with Fox and Smocks. Hi guys, how are you today? Let's make a fun, let's make a fun like gift, Dollar Tree gift for mothers, graduations, um, teacher's appreciation. So like all this stuff, you could make this and it can be a great gift for anybody that takes notes. So we are going to, now this is where we're going to, hey Cheryl, how are you this morning? Um, we are going to play around with some scrapbook paper, maybe some napkins. Look at this cute napkins I found at the Dollar Tree, guys. They're little flamingos. Hello, April. Hello, Sonia. Um, I am not 100% sure today if we are going to foil or not. Like, I have this idea, but I don't know if it's going to work. So, we're going to play. But what we're going to use today is you're going to need some sticky notes. And I realize I only grabbed one. I meant to grab two. Um, I found these little stands. Good morning, Susan. Good morning. Um, is it million, million? Hello, I'm new to your page. I'm so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. <laughs> Good morning, Shelly. Okay, so you're going to need some of these. Hello, Tracy. Um, okay, guys, so you're going to need some of one of these little thingies. Um, these I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Like everything I got today, I got from the Dollar Tree. Besides the scrapbook paper, I already had the scrapbook paper. So, um, it's Kelvy. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Dala and Deanne. Good morning, good morning. Uh, my name is Jennifer with Fox and Smocks. So normally I am the foil girl. So we are maybe going to foil this. I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm going to foil it or not. I feel like there's like a plastic piece on these. It is. Okay. So when you get these little things, make sure you take this plastic stuff off. Okay. Because it kind of it's kind of dull, so make sure you take that off. But here's my idea: is we can foil this, and we'll maybe we'll foil one, and maybe we'll put like scrapbook paper behind one. Um, so I picked out some scrapbook paper, and this is just from my stash, and it's all wrinkled up. Um, but I've got some little flowers, I've got some stripes, some polka dots. Um, I am thinking that I may me not going to use that, but this one is a maybe. So here's our, here's our project. It's so simple. Good morning, Peggy. Good morning. Okay. So here's our project guys. It's so simple today. Um, now this is all stuff that you can get from your local hobby store. Your Walmart sells these Dollar Tree sells them. Just don't forget to take that little plastic piece off. Good morning, Sparky Chris. Hello, hello. Okay, so since I'm thinking about this one, I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this excess off over here on the side. Now, what this is, guys, is it's going to be a like a sticky note holder. So here's the idea. We put scrapbook paper or foil or whatever behind or like inside the plastic. We're going to have our little sticky note holder, like our little sticky notes on there. And then um, we can put some ribbon and actually we're going to do a little something with the ribbon. And I got some pins, so it's going to be like a pin holder, a sticky note holder, all of the above. So today I am working with the group Craft Around the Clock. This is my spot for Craft Around the Clock. Um... I really like the hair color on you. <laughs> Thank you. So let me tell you about my hair. <laughs> so my sister-in-law, guess what? I'm almost at 600. I'm so excited. Oh, yay. Saucy Frost. Yay. Okay. So guys, um, hello, hello. So let me tell you about my hair. I am one that like to change my hair color all the time. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me with purple and pink in the front and I've had teal and um, I've had blonde and I've had dark brown and about every color you can think of. So my sister-in-law messaged me and she's like, hey, there's this uh, thing where they do your hair and blah, 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 whatever. 
I was like, okay, you know, no big deal. So I had no expectations of what I was going to do. And I get there and I'm thinking that it's students, like students are doing the, the hair. No, it was not. It was like professionals coming to show their products so they can, you know, maybe get new products in their salons. So I, um, oh, yes. So I, um, went and the gentleman that did my hair, he was from New Orleans and he did not think to ask me if I had well water and he starts putting bleach on my hair to like lighten it because, you know, I had the gray and the, the weird blue and all kinds of stuff. So he, um, so he put this on and then all of a sudden my hair was like leaking and I was like, is my hair supposed to be leaking? And he was like, oh my gosh. And he like hurried up and washed me out and everything. Well, anyway, <laughs> because I had well water, it was basically pulling the moisture out of my hair and it fried it. So that's why I am this short now, but that's okay. Cause I'm used to short hair anyways. So, um, he put red in it. Now this was a very, look at this. Like I've got like all these weird layers now and I don't know how to fix it cause my hair is curly. So I, um, okay. So he put red in it and I've got like some blonde highlights and stuff in it, but my sister's hair was actually this color when she was little. Like she was, she was like fire engine red when she was little and now it's like a really pretty auburn color. So anyways, enough about my hair. Thank you so much. I do like it. It is fading. Red doesn't last very long in me. So it, it'll wash out pretty fast, I think. So here we go. Now, they do sell these in the 4 by 6 ones. They did not have the 4 by 6 ones at at the Dollar Tree this morning or the Dollar Tree that I went. So um, I'm just going to lay this down here. And I'm just going to kind of measure my paper so I know, like, what size to cut it. Um, let's do it on the back so I don't put any pin marks on the front. So this is going to be a simple project, guys, for your for your moms, for your you know, graduation gifts for your teachers. Um, you know, Mother's Day is coming up. Maybe you want, oh my gosh, guys, do these pens not even work? Let's see. <laughs> I just bought these pens. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, okay, so like I said, this is going to be a really easy craft. Um, now, I'm thinking that we may, we may foil the other one that I have just because I have this foil and I, I just got it in the mail and I really want to use it. Um, but I wanted to show you how to do this since Mother's Day and graduations and teacher, teacher appreciation day or whatever is like this week, next week. It's all right here. So we have a piece of scrapbook paper. Now, that is the intention is this is going to fit inside of here. And we're going to do this a couple different ways, guys. So, oh, I need to trim off just a tiny bit. So we're going to trim off a little bit right here. And I'm just eyeballing this now. Like, okay. So our idea is it sticks in there. Okay, so isn't that, it's already cute. Like you don't have to do anything else to it. It's already cute. Okay. So, let's open this up. Now, the idea is we're going to have the little sticky notes on here. Now, which way does this go? This goes this way, but we're going to go ahead and put it the way I would normally tear it, which would be this way. So, so we have this. Now, isn't that already cute? Like, this is already cute, right? Now, how we're going to add the pens on here is we are going to take our scrapbook paper out and we're going to just kind of figure out like where we would want our pen. And I think that just, you know, we would just want it on the side here. And because I'm using this paper right now, we're going to go ahead and use this pink that I have. Guys, I, um, I was looking, this is just ribbon I got from, gosh, I don't know. It's just ribbon that was in my scrap piles. So, um, we're going to cut some off. Now, here's one thing that I can tell you. I was looking for my lighter. Like I know I have one down here somewhere 
And I have like one, I, I seen somebody use like an electric lighter and I was like, Ooh, that's cool. So I got some <laughs> at Christmas time. Well, we've been using it to like light the charcoal for our grill and, um, it needs to be charged. So let's see what do we got. We got a bunch of comments on here. Sassy for us. I am excited that you are just grow blowing up girl. Your stuff is cute too. So you're going to fold it. Okay. Now. You're going to kind of figure out where you want this. So I am actually laying it down like this. Okay, guys, this is the way my idea is it's going to sit on the table. It's not going to set like this, like what you would normally put a picture in. It's actually going to set like that. So setting down on the table, I'm going to put my paper here. We're going to actually put our scrapbook paper or our sticky notes kind of where we think we would do it. And where we would want the pin. So I'm kind of thinking that we might want the pin like about right there. So I am actually going to flip this over. And we're just going to kind of figure out like how wide we need it. Because we don't want the pin to like fall through it. But they can always, you know, use a different pin if they want to. Um, But I don't want to make it like so big that it like. Like I said, the pin falls through. So we may have to like tighten this up just a little bit. And we're just going to try to make it where the pin fits in there and it's not going to fall out and be all weird. So this one kind of fits about right there. Okay. So I am going to take this. We are going to staple. We're going to staple this maybe. And we may end up having to glue this and do all kinds of other stuff. So Let's staple this and we're going to staple it on the other side. Now you could glue this, you could hot glue it, you could do whatever you want. I'm trying to do stuff easy. So like if you wanted your kids to do this, they could do it and you, you wouldn't have to, you know, worry too much about. Okay. So we've got it stapled and now what we're going to do is we're basically just going to glue this on here, but I'm going to cut some of this excess off because we don't need it. Okay. So, we've got our sticky note. We are going to put this on the back side of this paper. And I think what we'll do to make it easy is we will use some like sticky tape, double-sided sticky tape. Oop, that's backwards. Let's put it in the right way. Okay, that's pretty good right there. Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so we are going to, since we're using scrapbook paper, we're going to, let's see, I'm going to mark this on my paper here because I want to make sure that I have it where I want it. Okay, so I feel like, okay, I'm going to put my sticky tape in there. Is this double-sided sticky tape? No, that's just the tape. Okay, where is my double-sided tape? Where is my double-sided tape? I have a bunch of it. It's not in there where it's supposed to be. Because I like to take stuff out. And then I put it down on my table and I lose it. Do you guys love my voice? <laughs> I am not a singer. <laughs> Alright, let's keep looking here. It's got to be like right here somewhere. I need my double-sided tape. Where are you, double-sided tape? Where are you, double-sided tape? Why do I have vitamin D ointment down here? I must have been going to do something with that. All right, maybe it's over here. I know I used it not long ago. Where are you, double-sided tape? Well, here's a new one. I guess we can open this one up. Don't be like me, guys. Um, keep your stuff organized so you can find it easily. This is uh, double-sided tape. You can use this stuff from the Dollar Tree. I did not buy this stuff from the Dollar Tree today because I knew I had a bunch of it at home. But I guess I'm opening a new one because I don't, <laughs> I don't know where my other one is. It's probably I probably organized and like put it in a bucket or something and now I can't find it. I never heard of double-sided tape. Is that what you're saying, Brenda? Hello, Mary Jane. Hello, Darcy's Design. Good morning. Okay, so I gotta pay attention to what time it is, all right? So I came on at 10.30, so I have until 10, or I have until um, 11.15. So this is double-sided tape. 
It is, um, this one's a little bit thicker, but basically what it is is it has a piece of tape on one side of it, and then you peel off the little plastic piece, and then you have double, then you can like stick it to whatever. And I sometimes have troubles getting the little pieces off because I cannot see very well. Um, but it come, it comes off like this, and then there's another little, you see the tape is on there. So now both sides are sticky. So we're just going to stick that down, guys. We're going to stick it down, and this is pretty, this is pretty strong tape. Now you can glue this. You can just use like regular tape and tape it on there. You don't have to use double-sided tape. I just did that because I felt like it would be easier to do. Now, we've got that stuck down. We're going to take another piece of ribbon, and we're just going to put it right over the top of those, um, we're going to put it right over the top of those staples, guys, because first of all, we don't want it to, like, cut anybody, and second of all, you know, we want to cover those up because it's not pretty. So let's cover those up. So we're going to put our sticky tape down. And we are going to just take our little sticky tape, the little piece off. And I'm just using that extra piece of ribbon that I cut off because it was too long. So we're taking that little tiny piece off. And now if you were to do this, I would definitely like heat those ends or put something on the end so it doesn't um, fray. So now we've got our piece covered up, okay? We're going to slide that in there and see if we even put it in the right spot. <laughs> All right, so we've got it in there, okay? Got our little piece covered up, and it's stuck in there. Now, we've got our pin that can fit in there. Let's see if this is going to work for us. This might I might have done it too heavy right there. We might have to tape that in. I know what we're going to do. Okay, so we've got that. Let's put our sticky notes on here. Now, I'm going to use double-sided tape on the sticky notes as well, and I'm just going to put it right on the back, okay, guys? So, I'm going to do that, and then we're going to see what time it is, and if we have enough time, then we will do the second one here, but we are going to foil it. So, I am the foiling gal, but I wanted to show you guys some easy ways to make a gift that you can personalize it for however you want, okay? Like if you don't, you know, if they don't like pink, don't get pink. Um, if you wanna pick out, you wanna print a piece of paper on cardstock or something like that and use, you know, whatever you wanna do, like the school. For example, we have like, what I could do is like little kids rock or, you know, preschool or whatever because we, oh goodness, Jennifer. I'm getting paint chips and everything else stuck in that tape. Oh, well, it's okay. Um, Now, got my double-sided tape on there, and we are just going to peel those. And I did wrinkle it a little bit, so it's okay. But we're going to take that off. We're going to take, oops, we're going to take this side off. Maybe, maybe I'll get it. Let's see how much patience I have with tape here. So I'm at the age to where I have like <laughs> really weird stuff going on with my eyeballs. <laughs> so, okay. So I would peel this off like this. So to my left. So I'm going to put this down here. That's how I would do it. Now, I don't know. People might do it differently, but that's how I would do it. So I'm just going to kind of center that in the middle. All right, now, we pretty much, you could stop here. Like, you wouldn't have to do any more if you didn't want to. Now, isn't that just the cutest little thing ever? Okay, we've got a cute little idea. Now, I've seen a bunch of them, like, the gals are using, like, the wooden cutouts and stuff like that. But if you don't have wooden cutouts and, you know, you want to make something cute for your mother-in-law or, you know, whatever, this could easily set 
on like a cabinet. It could set like you could write your grocery list, whatever. So now how to fix this little piece because it is kind of heavy here. I probably should have put the the um the little ribbon I should have probably put it just down just a little bit further so it would have been underneath this plastic piece in the back um but we're gonna fix this by putting some tape uh ribbon on here and we're basically just gonna ribbon it like we're gonna put ribbon on it to where it just kind of holds it up so another thing is is I might actually and I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna actually put another piece of ribbon on here um, just to hold it down here and I think that'll that'll fix our problem um, because what's happening is my pen is too heavy for that paper because this isn't like the really thick scrapbook paper so you're just going to want to play around with this okay guys I mean there's a bunch of different scrapbook papers out there you can print your own on cardstock we're going to do the same thing here and this here I'm just winging it now so I bought some cartridges of double-sided tape from uh, Amazon. Okay. That's awesome. Um, I have had it in the, in the rolls where it just, um, where it just, you know, like you peel it off and you just stick it instead of having to do it like this. So, um, I have done that in the past. So we are just going to come down here and we're going to do the same exact thing that we did before. Just gonna make sure our pin sticks in there and it does so let's double let's tape that down we need to make sure this one works okay that's where we're going with it make sure your pins work before you give them to your teachers or whoever you're giving them to okay <laughs> all right we're gonna put another little piece of double-sided tape down and then we are going to put a little bow, I think. I think we'll put some, like a little bow or something on the, on the thing. And now, like I said, this can be, this can, you can make this like however. I'm going to show you this adorable paper, like these napkins that I got. And I thought, well, you know, we could try it with napkins and see what happens. Um, let's see here. We're going to go right there, I believe. I think that's going to work for our little thing. And now let's stick this other little piece on here to cover those staples up. Heat these with a lighter, guys, so you don't have the fraying. I don't have a lighter down here, or at least if I do, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> it's buried. So... This is such a simple and creative idea. You love it. Yes, it's so fun. And you know what? It, teacher's gifts don't have to be expensive. You know, most of you have scrapbook paper around. Like you might not have double-sided tape, but you know, you could get double-sided tape pretty easy. They sell it all over the place. Um, sticky notes, like you might even have sticky notes. Like go to your junk drawer and look in your junk drawer. You probably have sticky notes. All right, let's see what we got here. We did the same thing there. So now we've got our little pen. I put two little deals on it just to kind of hold that pen a little bit more so it's not wobbly. Um, now we're going to stick this in here. We're going to try to stick it in there anyways. And here's the fun thing. Like if you don't want to put the pin on it and you just want to do like an interchangeable um sticky note holder easy to do easy to do all right so i can see what i did already <laughs> i did not make this one long enough guys <laughs> but it's okay you get the gist of what i did here so there we fixed our problem with it hanging down we've got our pin hooked on there we've got our sticky note um, you could put a ribbon here, which I think I'm going to. So I'm thinking we're just going to wrap this right around here and double side tape it on the back. You could glue it if you wanted to, but you could put like a little, you could make a little bow or get you a little, you know, whatever and stick it on there. 
So that is my idea for today. Now, I did put this too short, and it's going to drive me bonkers, I think. So we're going to see if we can adjust it. Since it is double-sided tape, we're going to try to adjust it just a little bit. All right. What do you guys think? You think you're going to buy, you're going to make some of these? Like, how cute would this be to make it for, like, um, Mother's Day? Like, it's not like the traditional Mother's Day gift. So, I think this would be a suit. I, like, I would love to get this. And that's just me because I'm always looking for sticky notes. And I'm always looking for a pen, guys. I'm always looking for a sticky note and I'm always looking for a pin because I tend to write things down that, you know, like, let's say I want to go to the grocery store and I don't have one of those fancy things. Like I have a marker board on my fridge that tells me like that we write down, like when we run out of milk or whatever, but guys, I don't have like anything in my, that I can just like take with me. Like I always have to like take a picture of it with my phone and then I'm always got my phone open and half the time Darian's with me and he wants to like watch my phone and. Ah, you know how that is with kids or grandkids if you have grandkids. Okay, so we're going to just cut this. Now, this is where you can have some fun with it. You could add a little bow to it. I am literally just going to tape this to the back of my paper just to put it on there. So now we've got a little piece of ribbon on the top. We could put a bow up here. We could do all kinds of fun things. So let's take this down. What time is it getting to be, guys? Oh, I got 15 more minutes. I think we're good. How do? You, what do you guys think? You could even personalize it. I am for sure, for teachers, I'm going to make some pens too. Yes. And that's the nice thing with the pens is you can match it. It's so easy, though. And I didn't use any glue. I didn't use anything like, I mean, if you don't have a stapler, you might have to buy a stapler. But... Like, double-sided tape, you don't even have to use double-sided tape. Like, you could use just regular tape and just tape it on. You could glue it on if you wanted to, like, do hot glue. You could even personalize it. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Um, You know, look at this. Like, I bought these cute little flamingos. Because, look, I knew I had flamingo ribbon. How cute is that? So we might even play around with that. I also bought these. Like, if you didn't want to do sticky notes, you could put, like, the little clip on it. You would have to glue this because these are kind of heavy. But you could do that, too, where you just, like, um, glue it down, you know? You just put the, the little clip on it, and then, then you have, you know, one where it's, like, clipped on, so you don't have to try to mess with a sticky note. Like, maybe you don't want to put the pin on the side of it. Maybe you just want to put a stick, you know, like, maybe you just want to put a clip on it. How easy would that be? That would be super easy to do. All right. So, all I'm doing, guys, is I'm just going to line that ribbon up right at the top here. And I'm just going to kind of put it underneath where the pin is. And we are just going to tape this down. So, we're going to tape this top part down or tape one side of it down. And then I'm going to take my other piece here. Oh, hold on a second. I think I'm forgetting what I was going to do. I am forgetting what I was going to do. This needs to be on the outside of the... Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this needs to be on the outside here. So make sure you give yourself enough room here to do this. So we need to put the paper back in. So put the paper back in the little plastic thing. Get one side of it taped down. We've got our pin already on there, so we know where it's going to be. We're going to slide our paper in to where it actually fits. We're going to wrap that ribbon around. And I'm literally just going to tape it on the back side of this. Okay, guys, so now we've got our ribbon on the top. I'm taping it. I'm going to tape it down. I'm not even going to glue it. I'm just going to tape it down. So I taped one side of it to the paper, and the other one we're going to tape down to the ribbon, to the back side of the ribbon. So I'm going to take a little piece of this. 
We're going to put it on the, make sure this is all in here the way it needs to be. We're going to put this little piece right here. So I've added a piece of tape, a double-sided tape right here. You're going to peel the little paper thing off or the little plastic thing protecting the other side of the tape. Maybe. So I was saying, like, I'm at the age now to where my eyes are doing weird things. Like, I had LASIKs done back in 2015 because I was legally blind, guys. I was had a really, really high prescription, and they didn't even know if I was going to be able to take. But it did, and it lasted all this time. And then I kind of hit my 40s, and all of a sudden my eyeballs are being weird. Like, I got glasses now for driving. <laughs> Because I can't see far at nighttime. And um, I am finding out that I don't necessarily need bifocals. Like, I don't need, like, reading glasses. But I'm ha having a hard time seeing, like, little things. Like, the edges of little things. Okay, so now we have our paper in here. We've got our little ribbon here at the top. We've got our sticky notes attached. So they are literally attached on here. We've got a pen. And isn't that just the cutest thing? Now, if you wanted to, you could put a little bow up here. You could you could fancy this up however you want, guys. This is my project. Um, an easy one that you can do at home with your kids, your grandkids, for your mother, for your mother-in-law, Anybody else? Now, isn't, wouldn't that just be cute? Like, look, I already put it up here right where I would have it so I could take some little notes. You know how I'm always, like, this is my note-taking skills, guys. I'm always writing, like, on the napkins that I use for my paint. Like, here's another one. Like, I tell you who's the next presenter, all the business. So that's what I do. Like, I write on, like, napkins. So guess what? Now I have a little sticky note holder, and I can just write it down on there. Let's open these napkins up now because I want to see if we can figure out a way to make this the background because I think we could. But I want to remind you, don't forget to take the little plastic thing off because anything that's acrylic like this or this plastic is always going to have that. Um, let's see. I don't know what Felicia is saying. Indeed, it's a happy Monday. Yes, Brenda loves it. I bought some cartridges of double-sided tape. Yes. Cute idea. Thank you for watching. <laughs> okay. So we have some fun stuff going on. Now, this is a little thin, but you ladies that do the napkin projects where you, like, burn it onto your stuff, this is some really cute paper. This is paper. This is really cute paper. This is really cute, guys. Um, or at least I think it is. But I was thinking, like, this would be kind of a cute background, too. But I'm going to have to put it on something. Like, I'm going to have to put it on something. Because it's very thin. Um, so that might be something that I think about later. Now, cute little project. Make a bow or something. I don't know if I'll make a bow, but I, I might make a bow. So we'll see. Probably not today, though. Because I, I don't know where my thinner ribbon is. I don't want to put that ribbon on it. Let's see what time it is. Ooh, we got 10 minutes. I don't know if we're going to be able to have enough time to foil this, guys. But we're going to try. So I was thinking that we could take this, put the foil adhesive on it, and then foil it. And then whatever back, you could still put, like, the background paper in it. Um... But let's see. Let's see if we can do this where we have enough time to do it. So let's go ahead and put our foil adhesive down. This is going to be um, foil adhesive from Artistic Painting Studios. And this is just going to be another one of these little projects. Now you will, if since you're going to use the foils or if you use foils, you could foil it like on the piece of paper. Like you could foil like a piece of paper um, if you wanted to. But I wanted to try to foil the... Um, I want to try to foil the plastic piece here. So let's see if we can get this foiled. Uh, we might run out of time, but we're going to give it a good faith effort here. So we've got a brush. We're going to dip our paintbrush in here, and this is just going to go on like Mod Podge. So we're just going to, 
we're going to paint it on like Mod Podge. And what this is, is it kind of is hazy when you first put it on and then it turns sticky when it dries. So I think it's going to dry pretty fast on here. Hopefully we won't put like a super thick coat on. But I'm going to show you this foil that I got in the mail this weekend. And I'm super excited about it. But I did not realize, like, it's kind of funny because I didn't realize it was kind of a transparency one. So I bought a bunch of it because I am going to, I was thinking about redoing a larger project um, with this foil. But I want to show you. So we're going to put some on here. Again, I'm just painting this on. And when it dries, it dries clear. So you can see now it's kind of hazy color. It dries clear. So we're not going to put like a real thick coat on. But it, it's going on pretty easy. So I'm not too worried about it. I hope we have enough time to foil it. Maybe I should have started with this one. But I really wanted to show you that project of how um, easy it would be to do like a gift. Now, you know, sometimes teachers, you know, they always are getting like cups and, and there's nothing wrong with that. They're like getting mugs and cups and apples and whatever. Um, but I was kind of thinking something that they could use and that might be easy for them to put on their desk or like in their office maybe if they have an office or even they could take it home and use it at home. Or they could re-gift it. <laughs> I mean, you could put that in a cute little cellophane bag. Wouldn't that be cute? Put that in a little cellophane bag with some, like, crinkle ribbon. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you put the foil adhesive on. And it's going to take a minute to dry. So we're going to put our brush here in the, in the water so it doesn't get all weird. And with this one, you're going to want to seal it with like Mod Podge or something. But let me show you this foil, guys, I just got. So I'm going to move this because I definitely don't want to like stick the foil right in there. Um, okay. Now you're going to have to help me. Shall we do the pinks or should we do like the purple teals? So let me show you what this looks like because it is amazing and it is fun but I did not realize when I bought this I did not realize it was like kind of a transparent one so here is one so it's kind of let me see if you can see it it's like let me see if I put something behind it you can see it it's snake skin pinks and purples, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So there's the pink one. But yeah, I wasn't, I did not realize that it was kind of transparent. So what we're going to play with, like since we're going to foil that little plastic piece, is we are going to play with putting different colors behind it. So that is one of them. We're going to put the little tape back on it so I don't get it all messed up. Now here is the blue, purple, teal one. Maybe if I can find the lit, the thing here. Okay, here we go. Let me show you this one. And then here it is with white behind it. So which one should we do? Should we do, hello, Melissa, should we do the pink one or should we do like the purple and teal? Which color should we do? You like the purple one better. Okay. <clears throat> then we will mess with the purple one. Purple it is, Sonia. How much time do I have? Do I have enough time to get it done? Oh, we got five minutes. Ah, hurry up and dry. Okay, so we're going to cut a piece of this off, and since this is just kind of um, a fun pattern, like, I don't, it doesn't really have, like, it doesn't really have, like, a way it goes, so we're just going to put it on. I mean, you could go, you could put it on however you want, but you just want to make sure it's wide enough for it so you don't have to piece it all together. 
And these scissors are horrible for cutting my foil. Oh man, guys, I forgot to bring my foiled fox box down here. I'm going to show it to you. It's so cute. It's called just, it's our just breathe one. And I just did it this weekend and it is available now. So if you're not part of my foiled fox box, you definitely need to get in there. It is $35 for the month and you get a wooden project, you get the foils and you get the foil adhesive to be able to do your project. Okay. So I'm going to hit this with the heat gun, guys. I don't normally do that with like this kind of stuff, but you can see like there's this, a few little spots here that are still um, wet. So you want to be careful with it when you do that, because sometimes what will happen is you'll dry it, but it's not like all the way dry, if that makes any sense. So like the top layer will be dry, but like the underneath part won't. So um, we're going to we're going to try it here with the heat gun and see if we can get those couple little spots done. Which I think we will. And even if not, we'll just go ahead and foil it so you can see what happens. Now, I've never foiled one of these, so I don't know if it's going to foil right or not. So we're going to we're going to do a good faith effort <clears throat> with that. So we're going to do a good faith effort effort with this. Now, if anybody is interested in the foiling and they want to know what it is, this is a, this is a piece of foil. It's a transfer foil. And it's slick on one side. It's kind of dull on the other side. Now, with the transparent ones, it's a little hard to tell. But I think, I think I'm laying it down the right way. So we're going to just kind of, where do I like the pattern the best? You just kind of look at the pattern and you just figure out which way you want to lay it down. And we're just going to go for it. So I'm going to lay it down on my project right there. I did get a little wrinkle in it, but that's okay. Um, you're going to smooth it out with your hands. And like I said, we may not have let this dry long enough. So if it, if it transfers, it transfers. If it doesn't, it's okay. Um, all right. So we've got it down with our fingers. I can cut this piece off down here because we don't need this excess piece down here. Now, guys, I'm going to put the little piece of paper that this came with. I'm going to put it back in here so you guys can see this. Um, so you can see when I, when I take this off of there. Okay, so here's what it looks like right now with the piece of paper. So you can see it's kind of like the purples and the blues snake skin. Okay, we've got a nice little piece here that we can use for another project. We're going to lay this down and we are going to use our little scrub brush. Now you can use the big, you can use a big one if you want. Where's my big one at? Oh, it, I don't know. Anyways, it's somewhere over here. Okay, you can use the big one if you want. Oh, it's right here. But I'm just going to use this little one, I think. Yeah, well, maybe we'll use the big one. Okay, so we're just going to scrub it on. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work or not, guys. It's just a it's trial and error with this stuff sometimes. So we're just going to rub it on. And I may or may not have let the glue dry long enough. So I should have probably put the glue on this first and then played with the other project. You don't really have to rub hard. But I do want it to transfer, and it is transferring, but I don't know if it's transferring the way I would like it to transfer until we go to peel it off. So like I said, I did not realize this was a transparent one. I thought it was, oh goodness gracious. Oh, it's time to go get Darian. Let me peel this off. Ah! Okay guys, are you ready? I'm going to peel it. There we go. And it did transfer nicely. So you can foil on the plastic. Look how fun that's going to be. We can add one of these clips to it or a sticky note and we can do the same exact thing. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I do not know who the next presenter is. I, I failed to look, but didn't that turn out cute? And you can put some different colors papers behind it. So then it'll pull out the different colors. So maybe I'll put like a pink piece of paper or a black piece of paper and see what happens. 
Other than that, these are our projects for today. I am going to jump off. Thank you so much for watching today and have a good rest of your afternoon. Bye.